school board meeting turning into a battle that got heated in a hurry. We need to protect our teachers from being forced to teach this garbage. It's called critical race theory. It's something Governor Brian Kemp is criticizing, calling it dangerous ideology. School boards in Georgia and across the country getting an earful from angry parents concerned with the possibility of their children taught CRT or critical race theory. and for creating DEI or diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. You cannot teach how to love. Bart Glasgow appealed to the Cherokee County School Board this past May. And, and I will be the first to admit I'm not an expert in critical race theory, but it concerned me. Coley is Bart's wife. I just don't think it has a place in school. I really don't. I think it breeds resentment, in my opinion. And she wasn't happy with the school district hiring a diversity, equity, and inclusion administrator. To go ahead and hire this person and not disclose it to the public. Confident in their beliefs, but willing to learn more. And over the next few weeks, they've agreed to meet four leading experts. They're asking the questions. They conduct the interviews and then tell us what they learn. But first, it's time to get to know the Glasgow's. We met them at their home in Canton, Georgia. Andy! How's it going? Oh, good. How are you doing? So nice Pleasure. to meet you. Yeah. Bart is a local attorney, Coley a dental hygienist, married 33 years with two children, conservative evangelical Christians, and owners of a small farm they were eager to show us around. Well, there's three goats right there. That's Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Whoa, I'm picking up a goat. <laughs> Billy goats, once they get to be about six, seven, eight months old, they start really smelling. It's their cologne for the ladies. Oh, they also taught me to never pick up a pig. You pick him up, and he will squeal like you're killing him. You are not kidding. After getting schooled on the farm, it's now time to get back to the subject at hand why the Glasgow's and so many Cherokee County parents attended that school board meeting. What did you first think when I called you? I thought, wow, this is gonna be a minefield. You know, you're talking about critical race theory. You could end up being called a racist or called, you know, a Neanderthal. I thought this is a hot potato. <laughs> You both seem very confident in how you feel. Do you think that you could have an open heart and open mind into learning more? I hope that I always have the ability to process new information and change opinions that need to be changed because of new information. It's now time to put that objectivity to the test. And they're headed to Emory University to meet their first expert, Dr. Carol Anderson. Dr. Anderson is a professor and chair of African American Studies at Emory, an author of more than a half a dozen books, including White Rage, a New York Times bestseller. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. The Glasgow's waste no time getting down to business. How would you define critical race theory to just like a layman, just somebody like us? Critical race theory is a legal theory developed out of Harvard Law. And what it looks at, it looks at the ways that the law creates race, mm -hmm. and then the way that the law sustains inequality via racism. For instance, during slavery, mm -hmm. it was the way that the law began to identify who was enslaved mm -hmm. and who could be free and who could be a citizen. Um, and it did that by identifying racial characteristics. In the 1740 Negro Act of South Carolina, where it says that um, the enslaved African descendants, people will always be enslaved for now and for those not yet born. Okay. And so it was the way that the law began to, to create the stratification. Mm -hmm. And that's how the law begins to create race. Dr. Anderson then explains to the Glasgow's that critical race theory is not taught in public schools. It's limited to mostly law schools. Still, Coley is concerned. I mean, it's almost like a, a nationwide critical race theory is coming to our elementary school. And so wh what is that? That is panic. That is fear. 
That is inaccurate. Would you say then that the theory as such, the legal theory, uh, is not something that should be taught in schools, that theory, but the, the things that should be taught to help us reconcile and to understand our past and to learn from it should be taught in schools. Am I making sense? Don't make me come over there and hug you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yes, the debates really are about the histories mm -hmm. that are taught in our schools. There's this fear that talking about teaching slavery, teaching um, the removal of the indigenous people, that what that will do is that it will make our students feel ashamed. It will make our students feel embarrassed. Hmm. Mm -mm. Because when we're teaching that, we're also teaching about the strengths of the American people to fight for democracy. It's time to say goodbye to Dr. Anderson. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with us. And check in with the Glasgow. What was your takeaway? She stressed that CRT is more in a, of a college law type of teaching and training. I'd never heard that before. But have what they learned swayed their original opinions? The Glasgow's want more perspectives before revealing their answer. Up next, the Glasgow's meet a school administrator with a job they did not want in their own district and they get a lesson in implicit bias. Just being aware doesn't do it. You have to also be sort of like concerned.